Hi, Peter Barnett from NZR Real Estate. Well, we've just finished putting together our 2021 Rural Property Update newsletter. And one of the key messages we put in here on the front cover is that I don't think we've seen more buyers in our market looking to buy farms since 2007, 2008. So I just thought I'd put together the short video covering some of the key points that are in the newsletter. If you'd like a hard copy of the newsletter, do email me, peter at nzr.nz, or have a look at my Facebook page, NZR Peter Barnett, and you'll find a copy of it there. So this is data we've sourced from the Real Estate Institute, and it's for properties over 20 hectares in size that were dairy farms, cropping farms, sheep and beef, sold by real estate agents. <clears throat> Three key points out of here, it's the second best year of sales in the last 10, 40% increase in 2021 compared to the present season, and within that, dairy sales doubled. So it's a real bit of positive momentum in the market on a national basis. If we look at it on a local basis, though, the momentum is even more pronounced. Uh, the low point in our market was a year before in 2019, so we've seen two years of solid growth and activity, and it's now been, that's the 2021 year was the best year we've had in 10 years. In fact, you'd have to go back to 2007, 2008 to see more properties sold in our local market. There was more on the market last year in all classes, dairy, sheep and beef, hill country. Uh, we had more buyers from a whole lot of sort of sectors and a whole lot of parts of the country come and have a look. And I think one of the key things that's different this year is we can genuinely say virtually everything that went to the market sold. And I guess, like I said before, we've got two years of really positive momentum in our market. One of the things that was a little bit different in our market last year compared to certainly nationally was where some of the dairy farms end up getting sold to. So approximately 65% of the dairy farms that sold last year have seen a change in land use. Most of those have gone to sheep and beef finishing, a portion of those have gone to dairy support. Um, again, I talked about that hasn't happened, uh, it's a bit of an anomaly uh, compared to the rest of the country, talk to people around the country, certainly haven't seen that, and I'm not sure that we'll see it to that extent going forward next season either, as I do believe there'll be more dairy farm buyers from within the dairy industry looking to buy dairy farms this coming season. So if we now look at some of the drivers, or what the activity we've seen, this is a graph we put together with some information from Beef and Lamb, New Zealand, Fonterra, and obviously the Reserve Bank. So it's tracking where milk price, lamb price, beef price, and interest rates have gone over the last 10 years. So if we look at the right hand side, we've seen a sustained period of sort of strong returns, higher than historical long term averages in both that milk and lamb price and beef price, at a time where obviously interest rates have been at their lowest they've been forever. So I guess that's why we've seen so much debt repaid across the farming sector, particularly in the dairy sector, and some really strong balance sheets starting to develop across the whole industry. So if I sort of summarise into five sort of key points in terms of what happened last year and perhaps how they might sort of fold through into this current season. First one is supply, as I talked about, we saw more farms on the market last year than we've seen for a long, long time. Signs are good at this stage in terms of listing inquiry and listings that we've got signed up for this year already. Not sure whether we have quite as much on the market, hard to say at this stage, but certainly we're going to have a good supply of property on the market this spring. Demand. Yeah, well, like I said before, we had sort of more buyers in the market than we've seen since 2007, 2008. We worked out that on average we had 17 buyer groups inspect each of the properties we had on the market last year. I expect there'll be more people in the dairy industry showing interest in purchasing property this year, be it dairy farms or dairy support, so I don't see any reduction in demand going to the current season we're about to come into. There were some key influences in play in the market we saw in our local market here last year. The residential market, the strength in that residential market certainly saw that driving into some of our smaller rural properties, lifestyle blocks, people trying to get out of 10 acres and into 100 acres. Carbon price, obviously, that has been a very active thing, particularly on the East Coast. And while we haven't seen so much activity in our market directly here, there have been a lot of people that have been coming to buy properties in the Manawatu Rangatiki out of the King Country, Tararua and Southern Hawke's Bay areas. <clears throat> With residential sort of house prices up 30% on last year and carbon prices up 40% on this time last year, I don't see either of those factors become any less effective in our market going forward. The other thing that changed last year significantly was basic banks' appetite for lending. As I said before, there's been a big pay down in debt, particularly in the dairy sector, with just over $3 billion repaid in the last couple of years. It's about an 8% reduction. Quality of those portfolios has improved significantly, so I've certainly got a sense that the banks were last year and are continuing to show more interest in looking at good quality deals to fund. 
And the last thing is we did see more auctions last year and they all sold under the hammer. So I'm expecting we'll see more auctions again this year. So vendors have more choice than they've had for a while in terms of choosing method of sale, not just having to sell their property by tender in all, me in all situations. So look, I think, like I say, it's been a great last season across the board. I expect this coming season's going to offer plenty for vendors. And I think if you're thinking of taking your property to market, you can do so with comfort that you're going to be entering a good solid market. There's going to be someone out there or multiple people out there that are going to want to own your farm. So hopefully that's been useful. If you'd like to know any more, like I say, do flick me an email, go to my Facebook or give me a call. Peter from NZR. Thanks very much for watching.